Bwana asifiwe. Bwana asifiwe. Sikiliza. Tuko sawa. Sawa. Tuko salama. Sawa. Eh, tukashukuru. Hi guys, I hope you're okay. Ah, uh, karibu tu Siza, Praise the Assembly. Just talk about the Bible and pray and you know, have fellowship with our backs. That is what we do here. I hope that you are okay. Last week we had a beautiful time, you know, through the book of Colossians chapter 1. all the way from verse 5 to 16 just talking about the supremacy of Christ and who he is and then who do you say he is i think that is what for me came out and i think we talked about those kingdoms and principalities and dominions and authorities in the unseen world and we say that all those things are under the feet of Christ Jesus and we are in Christ Jesus and therefore they are under our feet because if they are in Christ if we are in Christ Jesus and these things are under the feet of Jesus Christ then they are under our feet amen amen so today we will be continuing from verses 17 and her majesty Teresia will be leading us and i hope that you will uh, you know we'll have fun time before that see we can just pray and then we we'll begin father in the name of Jesus Christ we thank you we honor your holy name Jehovah God You are beautiful and you are wonderful for us. You are glorified Jehovah Father. Thank you Daddy that every single time we come we come before your holy presence. It is you Jehovah Father who is constantly talking to us, who is constantly convicting us, who is constantly Jehovah Father just leading us to the glory and honor of your holy name according to your purpose and according Jehovah Father to your love. In Jesus mighty name we pray and give thanks. Amen. 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 Colossians, we are saying that again Colossians is just majorly Paul writing to the church of Colossae, uh you know, reminding them of who they are, their identity in Christ Jesus Christ and also who Jesus is. So even as we go through the book of Colossians, I know that we have a good time. Over to Mama Justin. Teresa. Duta. Dia. Travels, yes. Okay, so. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night. Good night. Oh. <laughs> to you who are watching us, how are you doing today? And uh I don't know if I'm expecting you to say hello to <laughs> <laughs> Let's get safe for that. We can say for that. So, how are you doing? We are, we are good. doing fine. <laughs> I am fantastic. Fantastic, fantastic. Great, great. Fantastic. Yes. yes. <laughs> uh, Bona si fever. Si fever sa. No, my my name is Terry. This is Terry Teresa. Je ne vois pas un autre mot dit d'abord. Si ni ça wa ni pesa ni. Ya pesa ni. Ni Teresa. Tempo. <laughs> <laughs> uh as we said uh last week we we intended to at uh from us uh, fifth was it 15 15 yeah. all the way to 24 but we on, we only tackled two verses <laughs> only two and the conversation was very very deep and amazing <laughs> right well yeah yeah it, it was and we actually didn't feel like we want to stop uh the bible study and today we are we are going to start from 17 all the way to where we reach yes. by the help of the holy spirit mm. and we seek his understanding and we seek where we need to be rebuked we be rebuked where we need to be uh reminded we be reminded where we need to be uh consoled we get the consolation and whoever we want him to be in our lives and in all of us is life we we want to reach a point where we can tap and uh, we can get that from him the bible says uh, when god was sending the children of israel uh when god was sending moses sorry to the children of Israel in Egypt so that he brings them back to the promised land he asked him god who do i go and tell them who sent me and he said tell them i am who i am because if he said go tell them i'm and their deliverer 
they would have known him as a deliverer, just a deliverer. But you will find that he's a healer, he's providing for food, he's he's fighting for them, he's making them cross the the, the Red Sea and, and you, you find that he is revenging for, for them and all those things. So he said, go and tell them I am whom I am because whoever you want, whoever you want God to be in your life, he is exactly what you want him at that moment. That's true, yeah. yeah. So as we get into the Bible study, I'd like to just take a minute or two and talk to God to to talk to the speak to the your body, no, your friend, <laughs> your friend, the Holy Spirit, and tell him, may you may you remove our scientific thinking <laughs> and and you know the thinking that is not from you. Holy Spirit and the understanding that is not from you God I do not want it in this place I do not want it anywhere so uh, let's take our time uh, to, to, to two three minutes and and just ask the Holy Spirit to guide us through this Bible study so that whatever he wants us to learn about the person of Jesus Christ because that's what we're talking in today we had just started last week we are praying that we get to understand exactly what the Holy Spirit, uh, Spirit wants us to understand, and not our conscience, not our thinking, not our history. You know, we don't get understanding from anywhere else. Let's take that time and understand. Jesus. Holy Spirit Thank of you, God, Father. everlasting time, and Lord Jesus Christ, in your presence, this beautiful moment, uh, the Thank you, Lord, we bless you, Jesus Christ, we honor you, God, and we just disappear in your presence that you may be seen, God, we do not want to be found, we don't want to be seen, but Jehovah King of God, Lord, we want you to be seen, we are humbling ourselves before your presence, Jesus Christ, that you may be seen, Jesus Christ, that you may, that you may be glorified, Jesus Christ, and as we get into the point where we sit down and, and learn you and get to know you, Jesus Christ, from the, from the word, you, Lord Jesus, we seek the understanding of you, Jesus Christ, we seek knowledge of who you are, we seek knowledge of understanding the persona, the person of you, Jesus Christ, and who you are in our lives, and who you are in this, Jehovah King of all glory, and the moment you come in the past, Jehovah King of all glory, who you be, who you are, and who you will always be, forever and ever, Jehovah King of all glory, we seek to know Jesus Christ, Christ to you from the beginning to the end, O King of all glory. And we have a Jesus Christ that we will know about you today, Jesus Christ. We seek that it comes from you, John, the King of all glory. We open our hearts, Jesus Christ, in the reign of every other understanding that we have had in ourselves, Jesus Christ. We blame ourselves in every shallow understanding that we have had, Jesus Christ, about you, Jesus Christ. For you say the deep call of your people is the place of Jesus Christ, my Father. You have established your kingdom, my Father, upon the sun. Open ourselves to our understanding of the King of God. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, before we start now, officially, some of the is that one I'm weak. <laughs> so, before we start, prophets start like four times. We are We are nine. We are nine in this room. Yes. 
you can only see the six of us but there are three on the camera and the director hi isaac <laughs> hello <laughs> hi erickson hi hi paris and then we are here six of us i give them an opportunity to just say their names and this discussion is for 10 people it's nine of us and you <laughs> thank you so we will uh we will we would really appreciate if you where is below <laughs> if you write a comment down below somewhere and then you you subscribe and share after after this so we will start from here just so you know that my name is net Hi, my name is Vesonga. Yes. He keeps on calling me Nashon. I don't know where he's taking that from. You should ask him. Nashon is not my name. Vesonga is my name. <laughs> yes. I'm Caroline. I'm I am Cheche and I'm born again. Sour. These are the people who don't follow instructions. Yes. at from part 17 today yes and i will ask uh Chiche to read for us from 17 to 20 from 21 to 21. colossians chapter 1 verse 17 to 20 uh, 17 says he's before all things and in him all things hold together and he is the head of the body, the church. He is the beginning and the firstborn from among the dead, so that in everything he might have the supremacy. For God was pleased to have all his fullness dwell in him, and through him to reconcile to himself all things, whether things on earth or things in heaven, by making peace through his blood shed on the cross. Uh, verse 21, And you that were sometimes alienated and enemies in your mind by wicked works, yet now has been reconciled in the body of his flesh through death to present you holy and, be, and unblameable and unreprovable in his sight. If you continue in the faith grounded and settled and be not moved away from the hope of the gospel which you have had, and which was preached to every creature which is under heaven uh, wherefore i am wherefore i paul am made a minister thank you that's the word of god praise be to god okay i would uh, i would love that we look at one verse after mm -hmm. the verse 17 he existed before I am reading from New Living Translation. He existed before anything else and he holds all creation together. Last time when we were talking about the verse earlier, and we were saying and all things were created by him. You remember when we were marking the vocabulary? Yes, we are marking the vocabulary. <laughs> yeah. He, he existed before anything else and he holds he holds all creation together. Mm -hmm. I think by understanding uh, it, the way it has just been put. He was there before anything else existed and he holds everything uh all, all creation together. Then do you know what do you think about 
He holds all creation together. Can I just read from the translation I'm reading from? It's yeah. it's called the TPT. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's called a true translation. TPT. 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 <laughs> so verse 17 says he existed before anything was made and now everything finds completion in him. Oh. Wow. Kuna, when he, when he hits in my heart like everything finds completion in him. Mm. That line by itself. I mean yeah. I am nothing without God. Yani, I am complete now that I am with him. Thank you for correcting me. Because I'm born again is also part of my name. Because now that I am born again, I am complete. Yo, yeah. I, I like trying to go further than that is just. It's just. I, I think. Let me say foolish for lack of a better <laughs> word. For lack of a better word. Yeah. But I am just complete. Yeah. Then if there is no me without him. Yeah. A fool says there is no God. <laughs> in his heart. Yeah. You can be saying there is God, but in your heart and your actions, I like to be saying there is no it's God. You can say that's foolish and all that. Can I read it from the Apostle Study Bible? He says, He existed before anything else, and He holds all creation together. Creation. Because <laughs> Sometimes we think about God and we only think about God and man. Yeah. We don't think about God and the fullness of creation. Because everything, he holds all creation together. Mm-hmm. And that's why uh, even the people who are about the environment, yeah. understand, they are in God's agenda. Yeah. Understand? The people who are about you know, conserving the forests yeah. and conserving uh, aqueducts, and conserving water uh, catchment areas, you know, they are still in the agenda of God. Mm-hmm. Now the problem comes in when the, these many people who are doing this thing about creation, they try to say that's not God, that's them. You understand? And then when they try to do it their their way, creation itself jumps back at them, yeah. and they're like, guys, you don't know who created me. The guy who created me created me to function like this. You understand? Yeah, so when we are talking, even when we are talking about, you know, the improvement of agriculture and all that, and how to improve species and all that, and all that, it's always to go back to Him who holds all creation together. Everything, like everything, mm-hmm. every single thing. Just imagine anything. And I think from um, past, you know, 15 or 16, say, things seem and unseen. Yeah. So we're talking about bacteria and protozoa and vipers and you know all those things, eh? You know sometimes we just think about the things you see and then we're talking about protozoa, we talk about science and when we talk about science, we talk about atheism. Mm-hmm. You understand? So even bacteria and protozoa, they were created in seen and unseen. All of them. And the person who holds all these things together mm-hmm. is Christ Jesus. Mm-hmm. Everything. Yeah. Whether it is, I don't know, <laughs> uh, uh, for me, actually, I think about it scientifically. Yeah. Uh, you know, in science, people, there's this an atom. That's the smallest unit of, a, of I think, anything. Yeah. Everything that, or a molecule. Even like, atom that. So that atom, yeah. so in the atom, we have a nucleus and we have electrons. But this, the scientists say there's a force that pulls the electrons together, but they don't know what that thing is. That, that's what makes carbon carbon and wood wood. Uh, but all they, they have the same content, but that force changes and they don't know what that thing is. But guys, the Bible says he's the one who holds everything together. 
Thank you. Nice. He's the one. So when you see oxygen, I, I know you can't see oxygen. It's there and water is here. You're wondering. Uh, you know what science is holding these things together. Yeah. Yes, yes, it's science, but there is something holding them together. And me, the Bible says, it is Jesus who holds everything together. You know? And and if we go back to verse, I don't know it's verse 15, it says, everything was created by Him and for Him. You know? Yeah, like, even this rock here that, like, I don't know. That's, that that blew my mind when I read it. You know? Like, every literal yeah, was created by Him and for Him. So who am I to sit down and start saying, uh, like, no, like, like, you know, uh, when I, you know, yet everything I have was given by him and for him. And he holds everything. I say, Maleo, but then today, Mungu wa Kiamua, like, watcha ni achinye zimuwa leki, niyaze kumisi that great. Guys, have you seen, have you seen the movies? <laughs> <laughs> the one who is holding my molecules and my, my atoms together. I mean, uh, uh, I mean, but you sort. You think you can do alone? Sort yourselves. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I just think about that. The people who say there is no God, they actually Yeah. Because now, how do you say, even by the mere fact that you are speaking, there is no God. God is already merciful to you. Mm-hmm. to be able to hold you together otherwise <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm just thinking if God was that kind of a person who says yeah. mm-hmm. the same way when it rains it doesn't rain only to the righteous people mm-hmm. it rains to everyone who is born again and who is not born again so everything, every creature belongs to him and we have been given a choice mm-hmm. of salvation. Mm-hmm. Salvation is not forced on us. Mm-hmm. We have been given a choice to choose whether to get born again or not, but still God is for all. Yeah. The same way you will find birds, the trees, they are praising God in their own. Mm-hmm. The birds they sing, we don't understand whatever they are saying, yeah. but they are praising God. Because for them, they don't plant, they don't do anything, but they will never miss food. In They'll find food in each and every place and they'll find mm-hmm. shelter. So everything, the same way for the wind, you will not see it, but you will see the impact. Of yeah. So you can't say the wind. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> He's holding all things together because there is no way you can say there is no wind or tsunami or anything or the, the floods. You can't say the flood is not existent. Yet people are losing their lives the mountains, the families, in a, um, they, they are going apart. For example, uh, there is uh, the history of mountains and geography and everything. So in Anakitambo, the mountains, they, they had a different shape, right? Mm-hmm. Then after some years, Zinazaku, Kusonga. That's, that's God doing his creation, doing his thing. Mm-hmm. You know, you can try all the science um, existing and you can never explain who God is. Because yeah. he's God. Yeah. Like the, the the science, the Christianity behind everything, God is God. He he's who he says he is. Yeah. Like he's God. There is no way Unazua, we are created in the image and likeness of God, but we are not God. Yeah, yeah. We are just Christ like. We are we are, we are his creation. So image. we are like him, yeah. but we are not him. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. If we are held together by Jesus, Satan would be disintegrating if he was he was so angry with him to, <laughs> to, to disintegrate him. <laughs> and so it, it took me back to the house where we were talking about principality. They are all uh, yeah. uh, principalities are under this. Uh-huh. Yeah. So Karen, what do you think about in you did uh, your version and tell us what you think about actually I want to read the Bible. I'm picking points. <laughs> it being silent yeah. means that I'm picking points and I'm going to use your point and her point to bring my point. Yes. Don't don't see me silent and, and, and. Yes. Give what right. 
you you said that you you mentioned I am who I am and you said that um God said that because if if he, if he said that I am God the healer we will just see him as God the healer yeah. and not just God the provider and and all that and all that and there's a time when song I preached and said that we should look at God from all angles not just see God as God is my healer yeah. yet he can also be your provider he can also be your helper he can also be your friend he can also be your father and don't just look at him as God my father and and not trust him as God your healer and she has said that science cannot just can, can never explain who God is and i was just laughing because i have friends who don't believe that there is a god and i was laughing inside and saying now i have points to argue <laughs> i have points to argue with them because you don't need to that say that someone says it says it to me that if you try to ever understand who god is you utakuwa mwanamuzi yule you will never understand who god is and maybe that is why he said i am who i am because if he tries to tell you who he is you still won't understand him because yeah. i remember this when i was young i used to ask my mom who created god does god have mother did he breastfeed does he go to the washroom yeah. like how how did he even grow up how did he like if you ever try to understand yeah. who god is you will grow mad how how does he even how does his feet touch the earth uh-huh. and his seated up there that is why he says i am who i am yeah. that is why science will never explain him. that is why he can be god the healer the father the provider yeah. all at the same time and be in china be in nigeria in kenya uh-huh. in your heart in your heart in your life in his his answering his prayer at the same time answering someone in turkana you will never as much as you try to read books and combine oxygen and uh-huh. argue, uh-huh. you you will never that is not going to happen i love that because that thing is just one thing and actually it's one of the just me is humanity ever reaches a point and explains who god is then he stops being god yeah 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 yeah, yeah. you understand mm-hmm. if we ever ever because uh i think we are in humanity we are searching for something yeah, yeah. that we are sure we can't get mm-hmm. because we can't explain it you know human beings are like this they can't yeah, explain yeah. it we don't you understand so as long as i can't explain it it is alien mm-hmm. no matter we have a movie so endless yeah you know when when, when you talk about god and, and I think a few series where God is a young boy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. God is a big thing. <laughs> An old man. An old man with white hair. Yeah. So, you know, you know some is have explained to God as a voice. Yeah. That's from the club. Superheroes. Oh. <laughs> Superheroes. Superheroes and all mm-hmm. that. So all these things we are trying to explain a God in a small boy mm-hmm. in a big mountain in a deep voice uh-huh. in, <laughs> in a lot of light and yet they can never reach a point to explain who God is in his entirety yeah yeah i think that's what they're doing. i think uh, it's because uh, as human beings we try to explain god from our point of situation shifts like i'm sick he's my yeah. healer yeah. i am poor so he gave me the rich and he is rich yeah mm-hmm. or i am i am i am i am like there are so many things you are going through in our yeah, lives yeah. and we try fixing god in our situation mm-hmm. forgetting that god has a plan and a purpose for each and every one of us mm-hmm. so tunaika god in like a box if you come go to kesho if i become poor he will give me the riches i want mm-hmm. so we try fixing god in our situation mm-hmm. not knowing that he's an infinite god infinity where you explain like each time it i show up you know you know there are decades they are yeah, like yeah, you know yeah. how much time traveler they they have a knowledge of what the future holds but they cannot tell yeah. exactly what it is yeah. they can give a picture but they cannot explain yeah, yeah. or they cannot give a full perception of what the future holds yeah. because it's only god who can give that uh who can give that full picture or a full explanation of who we are going to become tomorrow i i might become um i might become i might get sick i or i get an accident i lose my legs 
and I don't know that, but only God knows. Yeah, yeah. I might be rich now, but for the future, if I'm not careful with the riches I have, neither for poor. Mm-hmm. So we try explaining God from our point of situations, not knowing that He's much more than that. Yeah. So we fixate God like, eh, in a good is my life. Not knowing that even if, if, even if you are sick, God can Yeah, yeah, true, true. Yeah, but if you think G. about it, yeah. think about it, I mean, when Pharisees are the people who were expected to know God the most, they used to. When the Pharisees, when you read about Pharisees, you see that they are these bad guys who they, they are people who studied God like the law. They were they sat down studied God, but when Jesus comes and try to explain who God is. These guys like like no, you get no so like a le- eh, of studies of these guys have studied and studied they have all the intellect and knowledge of the law about who God is but when God Himself comes to reveal Himself they don't understand yeah yeah so for me Christ minus Christ maybe minus Jesus you can't get God because. Christ is a revelation of who God is. And he came to reveal his own laws. What is it? You want to go on and then he revealed a perspective of God that you don't know. It was Christ who came to reveal. So, yes, if you want to understand God, the only door, that is why the Bible in the Samanga is only one door. We are true, like, otherwise you won't get anything. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think when you, I think the, the, the verse 19 says, For God in all his fullness was pleased to live in Christ. Yeah, yeah. That's the last time I think Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Forgive me. I think I just wanted to belabor the point of he falls all creations together. And I think we've talked about everything apart from also the humanity. You know, when, when everybody is thinking about humanity is falling apart. It's because humanity, every single day, you know, is running away from God. You understand? Yeah. There's a mentor, one of my mentors has told me, you know, if, if you study carefully, 90% of the inventions of man mm-hmm. are, are run away from God. Oh, yeah, yeah, true. Every, like, there are very few inventions mm-hmm. of man that are actually man running towards God. Mm-hmm. 90% of the inventions and the, you know all those things. Talk about anything and just start to think about it very critically. It, it's the it's us human beings doing what Adam did in the Garden of Eden. Yeah. You understand? Hiding from from God. So uh, the the fix of humanity is not for us to invent another more expensive. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You understand? It's not to invent another uh, more posh aeroplane. Mm-hmm. You understand? Mm-hmm. Or to invent another more effective medicine. The, the, the fix of man, mm-hmm. the hold of man mm-hmm. and humanity mm-hmm. is when we as human beings will start to say, by the way, without Christ Jesus, yeah. we disintegrate yeah. and we fall apart. Mm-hmm. So when we start to run towards Jesus Christ, mm-hmm. then humanity is held mm-hmm. together, together. Because now the blue, mm-hmm. imagine if you take blue mm-hmm. and instead of applying all the surfaces that are supposed to hold you know, each other together, together. Mm-hmm. put something else that is non adhesive yeah, in yeah, between. Yeah. The blue won't hold. Yeah. And you see the blue that holds humanity together is faith in Christ Jesus. Yeah, yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. So if if we are losing faith, mm-hmm. then the glue itself that is holding humanity together, mm-hmm. you know, is starting to do what? To disintegrate. Mm-hmm. And no wonder humanity is falling apart. The problem is we are always inventing mm-hmm. fancy stuff. Mm-hmm. Yes, fancy, no, this fancy stuff. Mm-hmm. If you think about it, just fancy stuff mm-hmm. to be able to try to feel the hole and the, the void, void yeah. that can never be filled yeah. with fancy stuff. Yeah. You understand? Mm-hmm. So there's a new phone on the market, mm-hmm. you know, 
everybody wants you as long as you have it yeah. you know then i am I, you know they become a honey there's uh, a new maziwashu you know on the market mm -hmm. you understand you want to have it and like, hey, hey. what are, what are you know say mm -hmm. the question is how is that shoe that is tempting mm -hmm. adding value to your life mm -hmm. than the shoe that is working yeah true yeah you understand it's because when you walk on the road people like wow but then we forget that Christ is saying that when we receive our knowledge on earth that's it yeah. our, our, our 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 reward ends there mm -hmm. because we want to get this reward from you know the praise of man if we get the praise of man the reward ends there but if we do things for God a half a human then go and do what yeah yeah so see we buy the one of us one thing it's really nice mm -hmm. but even as we have it it is not the glue that will keep me meaning yeah it is Christ Jesus yeah. who holds me together. Together, true. Because like, mm -hmm. no wonder we have the problem of trauma mm -hmm. and, and depression. Mm -hmm. Instead of trying to invent better medicine to null our nerves, because that's what it is, mm -hmm. and or better ways of encouraging somebody. Strong. And yet the guy, when he goes back to his house, in his bed, mm -hmm. the guy is broken. Mm -hmm. When he goes out to uh, a counselor, it's like, you know, you can do this. Yeah, just prop yourself up, take mm -hmm. yourself, you know, write a thousand things together and mm -hmm. tell, you know, write sticky notes on the wall and then mm -hmm. tell, tell yourself, I am good, I am better. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. You no, know, all those things, eh? Mm -hmm. And then after you have read all this, I am good, I am better, I am I am strong. You enter your blanket and you never find it. I'm not, yeah. So <laughs> it's just it's just to remember that mm -hmm. it is only Christ, yeah, and it is only faith in Jesus Christ mm -hmm. that will start to hold my life mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. and issues in my life together. Mm -hmm. It is not the inventions of man, of man mm -hmm. a better counselor, you know, more strong appeals, uh, the beer. Uh, is their energy things yeah. from you up. Uh, you know all those things, eh? Mm -hmm. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Is the one who puts this together. But if you, uh, one question, yes. one, not a statement, as a, to finish your, your argument. Everything that was created by God is in peace and perfection apart from humanity. Think about it. Think about it. <laughs> the stars, everything, the stars, the birds, they just matter. But when man comes in, bring in <laughs> Because they want to be God and not God. You get the same way when you hear the devil himself, he was fighting with God because he wanted to become supreme. But he is not God. There is no way you can become your king. Yeah. And there is no way you can create yourself. Yeah. When you try doing that, that's the, 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 the more you go astray yes, from yeah. God. So the more you're trying to fix on or, or um putting God in a cocoon whereby yeah. you like, okay, God is an American, he's an African, you know, like <laughs> and I got a light skin and stuff, you know. <laughs> so those are your <laughs> so those are your thoughts or those are your thinking about who God is. So as we as we try to fix our thoughts on who we think God is, the more we go astray. Because now we are going away from the word, the, yeah, the yeah, true yeah, gospel, yeah. the word of God. As in, so the more we try doing that, the more we go apart. Because we are trying to be like Him. We are trying to be Him, and yeah. we are created to be like Him. Like Him. Yeah. So are you saying the seduction of the devil uh, for evil mm -hmm. that is done to the devil? Yeah. The seduction of the devil to evil is yeah, become become God. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. understand? Knowing good and evil. Yes. So, are you saying that we are still there? We are still, yeah. So, we should not be angry at Eve for <laughs> eating the fruit and wanting to be God. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think, uh, from my point of view, if we try reading the Word of God, if we try making the sense out of the Word of God, if the Word of God is alive in us, then the God we serve or our purpose as being created as human beings to be like God 
will become real because the uh, Satan Alim said this akamwambia if you eat you have to eat for us if aku get this aliambiwa aliletewa if you eat So we go back to the beginning of where did humanity go wrong? Where? Where did we go wrong? Yeah, like what what happened to the goodness of God which was supposed to be seen in us? It's no longer there because we try fighting ourselves. We try um we try creating God in our own image and likeness. Yet God himself we are to create in his own image and likeness. So it's us who goes and we go wrong. Like going back to the Bible, I, I, I just like what she said. Uh like your disruption, like humanity is never at peace. Mm. And even when we look at the Bible from way back to when the Eve and then now we come to the town of Babel. These guys were in one language. Yeah. And they tried to, to become God by building this high tower that they get up to the top. And God was like, no. <laughs> I'm beginning new water. If you have falls down and then there comes disruption all over. And even when you read the Bible, this is a constant story. Yeah. Man falling, man falling, man falling. But he sends a savior, yeah. but no one is as perfect and as righteous as Christ is and Christ lives within us so we have i think faith faith is the toughest thing to do because now we are going to have that faith that Christ is within us so we are all thinking about creation being put together <laughs> yes. i'm thinking of the beluga whale the blue whale <laughs> the water but the at one as in, we are all held together me and imagine a life without god it's just crazy yeah i true. thought about what he said and uh, i realized that uh most of the time when you're trying to witness to witness to someone they are always like oh, me, i'm me i'm good to people yeah. you know yeah. <laughs> christians by the way are bad people you know you judge people me, me, me. i'm a good person I you know I don't treat people bad I am integrified I mean, you start looking for other things that are not bad yeah. actually Christian but they are not bad but just because that person has them they feel they are complete we don't we don't need Christ but then that's why you will say at I think uh, not even knowing Christ is not as important as me having a connection with church or me having treating caro right you know it's okay actually i do not at uh, i am not here to say you shouldn't treat people like right but by just treating them right isn't enough and it doesn't make you complete or make you a good person there is a need for you to actually be whole be made whole by Christ right. Jesus. Christ. Yeah, being nice or being a good person yeah. isn't enough. Yeah. You need to to actually have your identity found in Christ. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, John 3:16 in Asemanga for God so loved the world that he gave his one and only son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. 17 for God did not send his son into the world to condemn the world but to save the world through him. Mm-hmm. so meaning through Jesus Christ we find completion the same way when Colossians says so through his son like he was like he was a prince you know he was a prince and God is the king yeah me unaonanga when in the movies you see how the king values the son yeah. because and I inherit the inheritance you take in akuja to the to the son yeah but then through Jesus Christ who was the one and only beloved son but for the for the love that God has for us akamtuma akuja akufe he came to die on behalf of our sins he was murdered because of our sins what kind of love is that okay. so like through Jesus Christ we are complete so like that's all the completion uh by the way uh, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I before I share what I have it's oh, burning. Yeah, it's, 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 it's our role start and then we start again from here. 
say something as we we wind up okay karo <laughs> like yeah. humanity uh, your point humanity humanity is not doomed because you're doing bad we were doomed because you're already dead so like literally um uh, if you take a, if you take a dead tree uyekelea hapa hata ufanye nini it's already dead hata kama ina sabi wangu good means if you even if you cherish it the most it's dead so like you don't need jesus because you do do good things or bad things you need jesus because he's the only source of life like the only the only way for me to be alive is to take Jesus. So for people who say like um but then you don't drink and give to the poor. You know, after Jesus you give. But then you Christians you don't even give as much as they do. Like that is not God doesn't rate salvation according to what you do or you don't do. The only thing that rates salvation is are you have you received Jesus or have you not? And issue are people people rating salvation by what Christians do is a very it's an error a christian as much as they have received christ they still human beings and they are still renewed daily that's why daily as christians we are supposed to commune with god so that we be more like jesus but that doesn't mean as christians sometimes we sin so please don't rate christianity as by who i am rate christianity by who jesus is yeah thank you That's amazing. I am. Uh, <clears throat> my point. <laughs> I'm not going to share my point alone. We are all going to uh yes, we are all going to contribute this something and I don't know if I'm going to be able to because I've, I've, I'm my point I, I got it from what you said and what you said from what all of you said. <laughs> yes, I am just speaking your point. Yes, I'm I'm sucking what you're saying. Um there's something you, you you've shared that I've really loved about uh um maybe you're not born again but you think you did actually what you have both shared like there are those people who say that Christians don't give as much as I do and I'm good I'm good to Caro I'm good to everyone so I don't I don't need Jesus but there's something we have that they don't have so what do we have that they don't have we are, we are, we are all going to say it so that I, i now give my point so what song what do we have we who have received jesus that they okay they they help the poor they give to uh, the, the they they help the sick but they they are not born again what do we have that they, that they don't have oh my <laughs> because so they weird. say that they say that that they don't need Jesus because they are they are, they, are, they are always happy they help the the poor they are very rich they are very good to people they are very generous they don't drink actually they have never gone to a club they are they have never done all those things but they are not born again so why do I have the mm-hmm. yeah. yeah yeah <laughs> But what about the grace of God? Uh-huh. When we received Jesus Christ, yeah. we were given the grace, the grace of God. Yeah. So, you are happy, you feel like you don't need Jesus, but my friend, when I when I I, I have problems, I know that I won't struggle because I have the grace of God. Mm-hmm. You don't have the grace of God, you will struggle with it until you get money. Mm-hmm. I won't because I know deep down me, deep down inside inside of me. I know that it happened because of God and that keeps me going. What keeps you going? Alcohol keeps you going. But the grace of God keeps me go- doing good keeps you going. But the grace of God is always sufficient. Whether I'm sick or not, the grace of God is always sufficient. By the way, uh, you said what what other thing do we have? I know I have a high priest who's praying for me in heaven. Exactly. Take it from any home. This might be hard. I don't even know how to pray, but I, man this this a high priest seated with God. Ule mwenye Mungu tu like he's mwenye Mungu anasikia he's the favorite of God. Ananiombea, anasema sahi kwanza anasema chiki God. Look at my son here. Yeah. 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 That was you that they don't ah. have. <laughs> Let me first say what I have. Yes. 
what we strive for to see Jesus, to see God is holiness. But righteousness, you have. You got yeah. it the day you received Christ. Yeah. Perfect. Righteousness, 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 holiness is Christ in me. me. Yes. Mm-hmm. Look at that. Mm-hmm. That's right. Standing with God. God. Yeah. You know that void that comes with life without God. Yeah. That void is you. Mm-hmm. And God is love. So I have love. I am love. Yeah. That is what I have. Never ending love. Mm-hmm. Unconditional. Yeah. I also know what they lack. <laughs> yeah. Church, 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 Church. <laughs> I really want to say okay, Church, Church. Uh, we have Jesus well, I have Jesus and Jesus is Paul like Anakuja kama kulipa he comes as a wall yeah. so when you receive Christ you become whole yeah. because i can give you the poor because i'm rich not because i want to give it yeah. it's because yeah. then i'm bringing it i'm doing it for the wrong purpose yes i'm rich i'm giving out the poor not because i want to help but because i have the riches so the same way you say uh, you can do you can do things for the wrong purpose so like, i think that say that like maybe you 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 uh, you see your good I don't sin, I don't drink, I'm not a sexual addict, I'm not like I'm not I'm not a bad person. Does it make me a Christian? Does it grant me salvation? No. Jesus Alikuza is a human being. He, he, he came in a form of a human being. Meaning when we see him, we see ourselves. Like God was humble enough to send his son in a human like form. As in I can't even understand it because the love of God is so unconditional that his one and only son, his precious son, he had to come in human form for us to see ourselves in him. I said, 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 there is so much joy and happiness in Christianity. The same way, when you are born again, it doesn't mean you are special to yeah. that person who has who has not, who has yeah. not gotten salvation. Mm-hmm. My friend, you need Jesus more and more each and every day. Mm-hmm. Because for you, you know what who God is. Mm-hmm. You know what the Word of God says. For them, they, they might not have heard about the Word of God. And it's not their problem. It's you to preach to them. It's, it's you to, to, to take the gospel to them. So, like, as we, as we do ministry evangelism, as we, as, we, as we preach the word of God, or as we make disciples, as we've been given the mandate of God, know that you're not special. Know, know that, like, you don't have a, a, a secure ticket of heaven if you're not going to repent, if you're not going to make your ways right with God each and every day, because you're, you're a human being, you have blood running in your veins, you make mistakes, you have a human mind like that person who is not born again. So you might go astray if you're not careful or if you don't have the word of God alive in you. All Thank right. you very much, uh, Cheche. Not busted. <laughs> and if, if, by the way, uh, if, if you are a good person and you don't need Jesus, don't need Jesus Christ because you're a good person, mm-hmm. goodness is your God. And what? goodness, goodness needs you to survive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I, I, ah, that's a bullshit. Goodness needs you to survive. <laughs> exactly. Uh, is there anyone of us that has something very burning? Because my director is doing this. Yes. Yeah. One last thing and we, we are yeah. winding up. I, I, I think we have spoken so much about having Jesus and uh, being in Christ Jesus. Solutions in therapy, in those things that are called rehabilitation, rehab centers, and all that, instead of actually looking for the solution, where the solution is. You know, it's like when you're treasure hunting, you that you're looking for a treasure in the wrong place. Now, there, we are telling you where the treasure is. The treasure is in Jesus Christ. And it starts with just you 
accept him as Lord and Savior. He made it so simple for us to be in him. He did not make it so complicated that you know you have to fight him. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he made it so simple. He just made it so simple as believing in the heart that Jesus Christ is Lord and confessing in the heart that he is Jesus. Just that. So I don't know. Apostle Nathan. I want to look at that. That camera down. Um, and, you know, leads anyone who wants to be able to accept Jesus Christ mm-hmm. as the Lord and Savior. Uh-huh. Go ahead and invite them. It's one of the time. Okay, thank you so much, Mr. Wesonga. So, uh, I think this is one of the best decisions you'll ever make in your life. Some people say you might make the best decision. But... <laughs> 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 I think getting saved is money to change your generations and your children. It's not for you alone, you know. So if you want to get saved, um, just repeat with me and say, Lord Jesus, I accept you today, and I know that I'm a sinner. But today I accept that you died on the cross for my sin. And today I receive you as my Lord and my Savior. And the king of my heart, my mind, my soul, and my body. In Jesus' name. Amen. Man, you belong to God now. Hey, you, yeah, yeah. Hey, woo, woo, woo. But then you say, can, can you imagine? The Bible says when one soul gets saved, it's jubilation in heaven. It's not, people think like when when a big gig is happening and people are happy. Man, heaven doesn't even care. Yeah. But you know, happens. but when one person gets saved, hadi ma chef wa heaven kaku na kongana chef wa na smam wa celebrate. Guys, so man, there's something good happening. I think my mother normally posts it. Even if the angels are the people that are the same in heaven are happy worshiping God. Yeah. Imagine that. Even if they were here, Joke. Because God said, hey, hey, there's one, there's one, yeah, yeah, hey, uh-huh. hey. one more son or yes. daughter, yes. Ah. Then they go back to the <laughs> 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 yeah, 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 so, yeah, thank you guys, Thank you because the Bible says you are held in your hands, in your hands, God, and no one can take us out, no one can snatch you, us out of your hands and out of the hands of God. And Father, we pray that you help us so that we will involve you in everything, in every problem that we have, in every mental problem, every physical and soulish problem, Jesus, we surrender it to you jesus help us to always stop solutions from you help us to always look at you at the feet of jesus jesus i pray that you may help us so that jesus will always look at you so that we'll always depend and rely on you holy spirit thank you because everything is possible in you jesus everything is possible in you holy spirit and today we just come before you today jesus and we 
surrender our hearts we surrender our minds we surrender our everything jesus we surrender our problems to you we surrender our past we surrender our mistakes to you and jesus we know that you're doing something new in our hearts we know that you're doing something new the frustration everything that is on the world thank you father in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen and i was praying of god just reminded me of the in the day that and the world has been in cause of snakes they come in the name of pain and hurt and frustration and you know um animal expectations a lot of families a lot of relationships all that pain the suffering that was placed in the place of diagnosis jesus has been placed out of the cross for us but if we look at him God bless you guys. Man. God bless you. We will never end without uh, allowing our camera man to say hi. <laughs> so you can just put your hand and say hi. That is I. So and Paris. Paris. <laughs> Those are our guys behind the camera. The yeah. people. We appreciate you. We celebrate you guys. What we tell our boys, people who watch us. This is Caesar and we love you. Amen. Amen. Bye. Remember to subscribe. Subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Yeah. Subscribe <laughs> and hit that notification bell so that you get notified yeah. when we post. Yeah. Next, we love you. Yes, they might get a chance to sing because I have a song that is been banning. You can, you can <laughs> sing. Actually, you can sing as we finish. Because yeah, you can sing as we finish. Can sing. We can sing as we finish. Today, guys, we just did that song. Yeah. So next time we do that eight God willing. So to the songers who want to see who even I don't want to I don't know if you guys know it it's a really song but yes. I I I used to play it being fun. Cuz like this Jo kwa ke Yesu uokolewe Yesu ni daraja Ya kuvuka mto kitaka kuona nambo ya pili jo kwake Yesu uokolewe jo kwake Yesu uokolewe Yesu ni daraja ya kuvuka mto kitaka kuona nambo ya pili jo kwake Yesu uokolewe